Hey everybody, it's Tom and happy Friday to everyone and uh, we're back again with a comic book haul video. Um, this week we are going to show a bunch of books there that I picked up at a comic book show here in New Jersey. I, I don't remember the town but it was about two weeks ago and every book was a dollar. Uh, nothing but dollar books. Um, like I said, mostly uh, in my last video, mostly run filler stuff, you know, stuff that uh, I guess when guys buy collections, you know, they pick out the keys and they, this is what was left. Um, there were, like I said in last week, thousands and thousands of books to look through. And I spent uh, a couple hours there. I got there, it's show started at 10. I left around 1, 1.30. Um, and this is what we got. But before I do that, I will, whoops, hold on. I got some Halloween stuff going on here. Shh, quiet. All right, let me turn that off. So last, my last video, the flea market haul video, I picked this book up for a dollar. Um, it didn't have the record. So I went on eBay and whoa. And I picked this up. So now I have the book and record. I paid a dollar for the book, five dollars for the record, uh, plus shipping. So all in, we're about ten bucks on this. So that little set has been completed. So we get that out of the way. All right. Um, we have a nice Storenko print in the background that uh, I figured it was nicer looking than looking at the wall. All right. First book up. Pick this up, like I said, for a dollar. I'm not going to say this every book for every book, but uh, picked up uh, Essential Amazing Spider-Man, Volume Two. And I wish these were in color instead of black and white, but uh, looking forward to diving into that and reading it. This first book, um, a copy just sold on eBay um, for about thirteen dollars, fourteen dollars. It is Gore Shriek number two. It is the second published work of Greg Capullo. Liked the cover. Figured that would be a nice little pickup. Uh, Dr. Giggles, one of two. I, I remember, I just picked this up because I remember a while ago there was something about Dr. Giggles and um, going around. Um, I thought this was his first appearance in comics. It's not. It's a. Uh, an issue of Dark Horse Presents, but uh, for a dollar, didn't care. <clears throat> Picked up, I've always wanted to find a copy of this, and this is Excalibur. Um, it is a uh, trade, like a trade paperback, almost format, prestige format. It is the first appearance of Excalibur in comics. Um, there are at least three different versions of this book. Um, this is the book, the one I've been looking for, the no price variant on the front. Um, and the other ones look like this. Um, we have the one that says $3.25 for U.S. and $4.25 for Canada. And this one here that says $3.50. Uh, U.S. and 475 Canada. So I got have all three versions of that. I don't think there are any other versions of it. Um, if there's ever an Excalibur movie, who knows? They made Eternals. They may make Excalibur. Um, heard bad things about Eternals. We'll see. This was the best book that I picked up at the show. Uh, Brave and the Bold, 33. And this um, it's kind of a tie-in to the killing joke. Um, it's either one Wonder, uh, Wonder Woman or Zatanna has like a premonition about something happening to Barbara Gordon, and they all go out for like a like a night on the town type deal. I haven't read it yet, but well, this is my second copy of this. That was the uh, the best find. That it's about a twenty five thirty dollar book. Found some Frazetta, uh, Death Dealer. What number is this? Number 
number five, cover A, five of six. I picked up some Walking Dead keys, minor keys, and as always, I didn't write them down. I only picked them up because I had my key collector app with me. Uh, Walking Dead 127. Futurama 28. You never see Futurama books out there. Um, there are some of them that have uh, some value to them. Picked up some Yusagi, Yuji, Yosagi, Yusagi Yojimbo books. Um, this is number 94. I think these things got out of order on me. Um, you'll see some other ones shortly. Uh, here's a book that I was always on the lookout for. You know, there wasn't a lot of Bronze Age stuff. Definitely wasn't any, were, were not any Silver Age books to be had that were worth picking up. You know, if I did see any, they were coverless or destroyed. But uh, pleasantly surprised to find this. Uh, Kung Fu Fight, Richard Dragon, Kung Fu Fighter. Number 18, um, first appearance of the Bronze Tiger. There was some talk um, when Suicide Squad was coming around that uh, uh, he was going to be in the Suicide Squad movie and he was going to be played by um, the guy who played Bloodsport. I forgot his name already. It'll probably come to me after the video is done. But uh, pick that up. Uh, Astonishing X-Men number 10, uh, Cameo of Sword. X-Men 283, First Full Bishop. Death Dealer 6 of 6. I may have the whole run of this now. I'll have to go look. But of course, Frazetta, anytime I find Frank Frazetta, I'm picking that up. Here's another uh, Walking Dead 98. Um, there was some first appearance in there. I know this was leading up to the first appearance of Negan. Uh, Yo Usagi Yojimbo 95 and Usagi Yojimbo 93. JSA 81, just an Alex Ross cover of Stargirl. That actually was in the Key Collector app. Of course, that's why I grabbed it. Detective 831, Harley cover. Some Detective Comics that I did not have. Um, I guess these would be Bronze Age or Early Copper. Um, Detective 543. Detective 545, Newsstand. Detective 560, 579, and 584. Some floating heads. People like to pick them up or, you know, talk smack about covers that are have floating heads on it and how it's just like a, uh, just a lazy attempt. Um... Brave and the Bold, 121, and Brave and the Bold, 131. Just some nice uh, Bronze Age stuff. Couldn't find any Bronze Age Marvel worth picking up. I've always wanted to find this. This was uh, Stan Lee's Wonder Woman, um, Adam Hughes cover for my Adam Hughes collection. Did not have that. Another book that I keep finding, um, hopefully this will become like the White Vision book. Um, this would be New Avengers 53. This is when Brother Voodoo uh, takes on the mantle of the, uh, the Sorcerer Supreme. So this is like my sixth copy maybe of this. Who knows? A, uh, an Astonishing X-Men 24 variant. Picked that up keep finding this book now. Uh, Green Lantern 39, first full Lar Flea, Lars Fleas. Pleasantly surprised to find this Adam Hughes Catwoman cover. Uh, cool Disney cover uh, for Christmas, Walt Disney Comics and Stories. 
Can't believe Christmas is going to be here sooner than later. I picked this up. Um, I've never been a big fan of this particular cover. Um, I just didn't like her face. It, like I, I think I said it before, it looks like a, almost like a, like a pixie almost. Um, but anytime I see Michael Turner in the dollar bin, I'm going to pick it up. Super Supergirl 50. More Adam Hughes uh, stuff. Wildstorm Summer Special. Um, Black Adam number five. Black Adam number two. The trailer looked pretty interesting. I've got high hopes for that. Another Walking Dead Minor Key. This is Walking Dead 130. I think this was the first appearance of the Whisperers. Um, Batman 419. Just a cool Mike Zek cover. Weapons of Mutant Destruction. This had uh, some heat to it a few, um, about a year or so ago. This is a book that um, Mercenaut shows quite frequently. Um, USA Avengers number one. It's the first appearance of this version of the Red Hulk. Blade number one. New Warriors, number 74 from Volume 1. This is uh, one of the later issues, maybe the next to last issue. I think the last issue was 75. Um, pick that up. It's a you know lower print run book. We grabbed Hillbilly, number 13, and Hillbilly, number 11. Some more Adam Hughes fun. Um, Valor number 10. And Blade number 4. I mean, some decent dollar books. Definitely worth, each one of these books is worth definitely more than a dollar. New War Warriors, I'm not sure what volume of this is. Um, number 1, there are some first appearances in that. Detective Comics number 783. Um, first appearance of um, one of Ra Ra Ra's al Ghul's daughter. Uh, not Talia, but the other one. The one that was in the Arrow uh, show. Picked this up just strictly for the cover. I like this cover. Uh, Birds of Prey 11. I don't think it's an art germ book but it does have like an art germ feel to it um, Aquaman number one uh, from the new 52 I was pleasantly surprised to find this I don't see these books too often I really do enjoy the ones that I have this is AXA number seven um, these are American uh, reprints I believe this is something that came out in France, maybe. Um, I think so. I think this was a French publication at first by... Um, who, who's the author on this? An artist. Donnie Avenel and Enrique Romero. The American edition. This came out in 1985. I have a couple, uh, a couple other volumes of this. So that was one of my favorite finds from the show. And then some Captain America run fillers. That was my goal, is to do some run filling. Um, wasn't overly successful, but we got Cap 294, Cap 306, 308, I gotta get some boards, and 322. Just put these safely over here. And then some Silver Surfer run fillers. This is issue 108. These later issues are hard to find, or at least they've been hard to find for me. 109. 
110. That one's a newsstand. So is that one. And that one's a direct edition. So I don't know the print run. I would imagine the print run on the newsstand at this time for this volume is uh, pretty low. And then Silver Surfer 139. Two copies of New X-Men 119. I knew this was a first appearance of somebody and people out there who are watching who are smarter than I am with these things know um, the first appearance. I don't think it's Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Uh, I forgot what, uh, what first appearance is in here, but I grabbed two copies of that. Uh, Avengers Academy, number 20. First appearance of the new White Tiger. Picked up some more of these Jim Lee X-Men number ones. So we got the Magneto cover. And we got the Storm and Beast cover. Some Lucio Perillo covers. We got Red Sonja versus Thulsa Doom, number one. And Birth of a She-Devil, number three. Here's a little something from my Saturday morning cartoons box. Quick Draw McGraw, number three, uh, Charlton issue. And then these last couple of books, I think someone beat me to the Dave Stevens covers in this lot because they were all together. And I bet you... There the Dave Steven covers were here as well. So we got uh, Cheval uh, Noir number two. I think number one had to have been there because then we got number three, number four, number five, number six. And then we have last uh, number eight. So that was it. Uh, about 70 some books. Um, you know, some of the books actually had two in one bag um, and they counted as one. So less than $70 I paid for all of these. Um, I, would I do this again? Probably not. Just because of the, the, the travel involved. It was like an hour and a half there an hour and a half back um, in the middle of COVID no less so so happy that I went um, so that's it um, thank you guys for watching um, I have another another comic show to go to actually this coming Sunday on Halloween um, I'll have a video up for that as well and uh, I missed Baltimore Comic Con um, but uh, Steve from Charlton 66 on YouTube um, was able to help me get a sketch from an artist that I really like um, hopefully that book will come to me in the mail uh, by the time my next video is up and um, well, you guys will get to see it so thanks for watching you guys have a great weekend and uh, be safe bye for now